Steve. Yes. Something walking bipedally. We had a great night. I do think that we heard a Sasquatch. However, we already have town hall scheduled. No one talks about Bigfoots in South Carolina. So we can find a couple hot, 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 hot spots to investigate. Pretty We suspect that a lot of the Bigfoots that actually do live in South Carolina haven't really run across people trying our tricks. So if you believe you have encountered a Sasquatch at one point or another here in South Carolina, please raise your hand nice and high. Describe the vocalizations would be they were also like a logo, a low guttural growl to start with. It was just a little bit higher, so they have said that when and continuing into a high pitched scream. My sighting occurred in a town north, north of me in Ridgeville, and I come up to a tube to put the paper in, and I saw this, this thing turn around, looked at me, and it was. It was big. I mean, it had shoulders were like, and I just uh, floored it and got out of there. <laughs> kind of sh shaken up. Pretty much every day I have been doing it for over 10 years and uh, I was within 40 feet of it. What it struck me was it was massive. I hear this plop, plop, plop and I said, what is that? I had a feeling that oh, the play had to run off. I'm gonna go up into the mountains in the northwestern part of the state. 
it seems like we've got these two areas thoroughly covered. Thoroughly covered. Thoroughly covered. Thoroughly covered. Thoroughly covered. Yeah, Chris Cahill's. Yeah, Chris Cahill's. Yeah, Chris Cahill's. Yeah, Chris Cahill's story stood out to me the most in the town hall meeting. I like that one the best. Hey, Chris. Thanks for beating us out here. Hold me, Chris Cahill, man. I'm thinking this is a pretty odd spot for a squatch to be. But the guys seem real sincere at Town Hall, so. There's gotta be some kind of logical explanation. This is where it was. That's what happened, I pulled up in my vehicle and I put the paper in a two. And I saw these big red eyes. looked at each other for seconds and then I got really scared and I, yeah, and then there Can you describe? Oh, 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 oh. When it turned and looked at me, it was just, it was really big. And the shoulders especially, I mean, they were at least like about this wide. And the head was kind of, like I said, was kind of, kind of pushed in. They, 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 had, they had the amount of hair I saw. They were real bright, and they were about, I mean, from, from that distance, they kind of looked about like this, and they were big. And you're, you're in shock. Yeah, I was, this thing spooked me. <laughs> Where'd you first see that? See that where the big brown patch back my other way? The brush is right here. Yes, sir. Was it before that or after that? Yeah, it was right by where the grass is over there. Uh -huh. It was right where that dead material is right there, kind of. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That was the only reason. That was the only Right by where the grass is over there. It was right where that dead material is right there, kind of. Uh, where? I didn't call it. That was the first. That was the first. That was the first. I want to go over there and take a look and see why I wouldn't cut into those trees. Well, before you head over, Boba, just how big do you think that figure was? I want to go over there and take a look and see why I wouldn't cut into those trees. Well, before you head over, Boba, just how big do you think that figure was? I want to go over there and take a look and see why I wouldn't cut into those trees. Well, before you head over, Boba, just how big do you think I want to go over there and take a look and see why I wouldn't cut into those trees. Well, before you head over, Boba, just how big I want to go over there and take a look and see why I wouldn't cut into those trees. Well, before you head over, Boba, just how big do you think that figure was? Uh, I'd say at least seven foot tall. My guess is you're gonna say about eight by the time I get over there because things at dark look a lot smaller. We're about to find out. <laughs> Chris is a cool guy and he's a pretty burly dude. So whatever he saw that morning, it had to be huge to make him high to out of there, out of there, out of there, out of there like that. It's really common for people to underestimate the size of a squatch, especially in the dark. So I bet this thing had to be at least eight foot tall. Right about. Bingo. Right there. Yeah, it's just almost 60 yards right here. I'm gonna hold my hand up and have Chris turn and stop when it's the right height. More. 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 Yeah, right there. I was right. That's eight feet. 
can't say that's a Bigfoot. I mean, I know it was 60 yards away, and it was dark, and you're catching it in your headlights, and you're freaked out. How do you explain the eyes, then? I don't know. I think Chris's mind is playing tricks on him and turned a bundled-up walker into a Sasquatch. Well, you're batting 500, because I believe in batting 500, that's an all-star. Hey, Steve. 